Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Sashi E. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be reviewing this wig from Shein. Comment down below and let me know if you guys knew Shein actually had wigs. So y'all, let's jump right into the tutorial. So I am going to be doing an installation today of this wig from start to finish. So you guys will be able to see everything that I do. So my installation process is quite easy. I'm not a super pro at this, but I try my best to make sure the wig stays glued okay so I do have this wig cap it is darker than my skin but I do prefer to use the darker ones when I use the super light ones they give off this type of glare with the lace and I don't like that so I like to use a darker wig cap so what I'm doing right now is I'm just cutting out the sections for my ears and then I'm going to do that on the other side before I proceed to glue down the wig cap all right guys, so now that I've cut out the ears, I am going in with the got to be glue breeze spray you guys I love this thing it works really really well and I'm pretty much spraying that as closely to my hairline as possible so I'm gonna spray it across my hairline and then I am going to use my blow dryer make sure it's completely dry and then I'm going to do one more application y'all so now that the cap has been glued to my head I'm just gonna go ahead and cut off the excess cap right around my hairline and then y'all I'm actually gonna take my foundation to just blend it out a little bit so that it can match my skin a little bit better as I said I like to use a darker cap it just works better for me that way and then I use my foundation just at the front so as you guys can see it matches perfectly with my skin so you guys here is the wig y'all the color is absolutely beautiful I still can't believe I bought this from Shein I will say I am currently looking up the details of the wig and I'm a little shocked that I spent $141 on this you guys I really thought this was like a $79 wig but I did purchase this back in November so it's been a little minute since I've had the wig um, I will give you guys the details of the wig it is a 13 by 4 lace front 150% density water wave bob human hair wig that's the bag that it came in nothing special and then I went ahead and I just used a little bit more foundation to actually tint the lace so that is the wig you guys very nice very beautiful it did shed but it is very soft I have no complaints I like the color I've received so many compliments on it since I've been wearing it so you know no real complaints so far with this wig y'all comment below and let me know if $141 for this wig is actually a good price I haven't really bought um, wigs before I'm not really a wig girl, but I'm trying to get a little bit more into it. So if you guys do wear wigs on the regular, let me know if I got a good price. All right guys, so now I am prepping my forehead to glue the wig down. So I just went in with a little bit of alcohol and now I'm going in with that bold hold glue. I'm gonna work that around my edges or around the perimeter of my forehead. I'm going to spread it out just a little bit and then I am going to proceed to blow dry it until it is dry. Once it is dry, I am going to add an additional layer of that glue and then I am going to apply the lace and glue that down to my head.
right guys so now that the wig is secured i am going to remove the additional lace i do like to do this in sections it makes it easier and i also like to use a razor to cut the lace off as well it gives it a more natural look in my opinion so after i am done cutting off the lace or removing the lace i am going to proceed with styling i do like a middle part so i'm just gonna part it down the middle and then i am going to prep my hair with styling to style this hair i am going to be using water and also the lotta body foaming mousse for my baby hairs i did use the same foaming mousse as well and for this hair you guys i did not do anything to it I did not pluck it I did not bleach the knots I'm installing the hair as is so I wanted to let you guys know that I also wanted to mention that I did wash this hair and the hair actually bleeds you guys so that's something to look out for if you guys are interested in purchasing any colored hair from Shein. So I did wash it and even on my third shampoo there was still some bleeding. I was actually supposed to wear this wig on a recent vacation and I opted out because I just did not want any type of mess on my clothes because I knew that in order for the wig to look up to par. I did have to wet it quite often, which is why you see me with a burgundy shirt on in this video. So as you guys can see, the wefts of this wig will show if you don't brush the hair properly. As you guys can see, they're all right there at the top. But once my hair actually got bigger and it dried, the wefts were no longer visible. So I just wanted to point that out. Also, the hair did shed a little bit. So I just wanted to show you guys how much hair did come out of my brush, just in case you guys were wondering. She wanna see me. She love the queen and she love when it rains. She said, Bring out the money from the ATM. Tell your mom, I'm your ATM. In your back, you go shopping with your ATM. All right guys, so I am back and this is the final results of the wig from Shein. You guys, comment down below and let me know what you guys think about this hair. I absolutely love it, you guys. It's something different. I've never tried burgundy hair before, so this is very different for me, but I do like the length and I also really like the color. I think it goes really well with my skin. And yeah, y'all, I really like it. So if you guys have any comments about this look, if you guys like this video definitely give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you guys would like to see more content like this please let me know and i'll see you guys in the next video bye